Welcome to the very first episode of Focus. Today we're going to talk about the rules of the game, the building code. And if we are specifically talking about class one, construction of houses, this converts into the NCC volume two. And the acceptable construction methodology is listed or appearing in the housing provisions. Through a big number of workshops I have delivered and classes I have taught, I come to realize that people are overwhelmed by the size of the task to the point that they think of it as a mammoth task. But if we take it with simplicity, I realize that you've got two tricks in there. If you employ them both, you have a very easy process to come up with answers to questions that you might have never seen before. What I'm referring to very simply is the sequence of the book in terms of the subjects appearing which goes with the sequence of the build and number two the table of contents so as far as the housing provisions after a front matter section and a section on structure we talk which talks about the structural software and related computations from there on the sequence of the parts or the chapters of the housing provision part of volume 2 NCC goes with the sequence of the bill. Part 3 is site preparation, part 4 is footings and slabs, part 5 is masonry, part 6 is framing, part 7 is roof, roof and wall cladding, part 8 is glazing, part 9 is fire safety, part 10 is health and amenities, part 11 is safe movement and access, part 12 ancillary provisions, and part 13, energy efficiency. So if you are looking for an answer to a particular question, step number one is to relate it to one of those topics. Some are more challenging than others in a sense that if you are looking for a question on a party wall, a firewall, then obviously the answer will appear in fire safety. But some of the names of the parts are not very descriptive. Example of the ancillary provisions or the health and amenities in saying that health and amenities is one part that you need to be totally familiar with the requirements for waterproofing come from this section the room heights come from this section sound insulation comes from this section condensation management comes from this section and so do other important matters as well as far as part 12 ancillary provisions it talks about construction in alpine regions. It talks about fireplaces and chimneys and a couple of other matters. So once again, step number one is to relate the question you are seeking to one of those parts. The next step is to go to the table of contents and go step by step into it. And you will realize that the question simply or the answer to the question simply jumps at you. Let's take a couple of examples. Concrete cover, if you talk to any inspector, they would tell you that they are facing a lot of dramas in relation to concrete cover. That is the amount of concrete covering the steel reinforcement, say in a slab or foundation works. So which topic does it relate to? Obviously it relates to part four, slabs and footings. And you, if you expand those parts or the contents of this part, you will realize that part four to 11 talks about steel reinforcement. And obviously the answer goes in there or, or jumps at you from part 4 to 11, close 5. Let's take another example. Let's say if you are checking on your brick layer and uh, want to confirm that they have correctly installed the damp proof course. Which part does it relate to? It relates to masonry. And if you go and you expand the sub parts in part 5, you will realize that part 574 contains the answer. One last example. If you are seeking the correct installation of a party wall, and by the way, it's always paramount to check on the installation instructions coming from the manufacturer. And this goes side by side with the building code and the instructions as well as the Australian standards. So in the example of correct installation of a party wall, you look up and part 9 talks about fire safety and you, if you expand the contents of part 9, you will see that 
part 931 talks about separating walls it's super simple you relate it to one of the parts which are sequentially going with the progress of the build you expand the parts of the NCC and by the way the uh, with the NCC 2022 it became way easier to navigate online but the concept is the same whether you are working out of a hard copy or whether you are working out of the online uh, form the sequence is the same you relate it to one of the parts you expand the sub parts you pinpoint the section that might contain the answer and you're there thanks for joining me see you in the next episode of focus